Welcome to another exciting Mental Models video. If you would like to sharpen your thinking, you will certainly benefit from having some razors in your repertoire. We are, of course, talking about philosophical razors that simplify some thought processes. A philosophical razor is essentially a principle or rule of thumb used in philosophy to guide reasoning and argumentation, specifically in the context of parsimony or simplicity. It is often employed to determine the most likely or plausible explanation among competing hypotheses or theories. The main idea behind a philosophical razor is to favor the simplest explanation that adequately accounts for the available evidence rather than resorting to unnecessary complexity or assumptions. Philosophical razors are tools for critical thinking and help avoid unnecessary speculation, excess complexity, or ad hoc reasoning. Some well-known philosophical razors include Occam's razor and Hanlon's razor. Be sure to watch our videos on Occam's razor and Hanlon's razor if you haven't already. So what makes something a philosophical razor? What criteria are there for creating a new philosophical razor? The new philosophical razor should provide a general principle or rule of thumb for making decisions between competing hypotheses or explanations. The razor helps cut away unnecessary assumptions. It should be expressed succinctly in a short phrase that is easy to remember and apply. Many well-known razors are only a few words long. A razor should eliminate improbable, needlessly complex, or unsupported explanations in favor of simpler, more probable ones. It favors parsimony and Occam's razor itself. The principle should have some basis in reason, logic, empiricism, or probability theory to justify its use. There should be an argument for why the simpler explanation is more likely to be true. It needs to stand the test of time. A new razor gains credibility if it holds up well across different scenarios and philosophical debates over an extended period. The razor should produce clarity, cut through confusion, or enable progress when applied to philosophical problems. It needs to be useful. Ideally, the new razor causes philosophers to think about issues in a novel way and provides unique insight. It should be thought-provoking. In summary, creating a new philosophical razor requires identifying a broadly applicable principle that favors simplicity and uses reason and logic to cut away unlikely or overly complex explanations. The razor should be succinct, useful, withstand scrutiny over time, and fill a gap left by existing razors. The reason we are focusing on the definition of a philosophical razor and how to formulate one is because it can unlock some additional value from our accumulated wisdom and knowledge from other areas such as cognitive biases. For example, what would happen if we decided to convert our insight from the curse of knowledge bias into a philosophical razor? The curse of knowledge, if you remember from our biases video, is a tendency to presume that when you understand something, that it should be obvious to others as well. When we deeply know a subject, we may assume that others share our familiarity with it. We may have read books and watched multiple videos on the topic, and then when we happen to get in a discussion about the topic with someone else, there is a tendency to presume that you are both operating from the same set of facts, even though they may have a completely different knowledge base. What if we create an actionable philosophical razor based on these insights. We could call it the fourth grader razor. In order to apply the lesson from the curse of knowledge, we can reason that a good heuristic when dealing with others would be to start with a perceived mutual understanding beginning with the understanding a 10-year-old or a fourth grader may have of the subject. This shaves away a lot of assumptions about what we think the other party already understands, and we can elaborate from there while building on mutual understanding. This leads us to define the fourth grader razor as, when discussing and making assumptions about another party's knowledge, subtly assume a fourth grade understanding and build up from there. Turning our valued principles into more actionable razors was an idea inspired by the work of the ever insightful George Mack and a particularly helpful tweet he recently posted detailing many new philosophical razors he has developed from his life experiences. We will now explore a few of his particularly useful razors. Bragging razor. When someone brags about their success or their happiness, you can assume it's half what they claim. And if someone downplays their success or happiness, assume it's double what they claim. Luck razor. If you are stuck with two equal options, 
you should pick the one that feels like it will produce the most luck later down the road. He used this razor to go for drinks with a stranger rather than watch Netflix. In hindsight, it was his highest ROI decision he'd ever made. Narcissism Razor If you're worried about people's opinions, remember that they are too busy worrying about other people's opinions of them. 99% of the time, you're just an extra in someone else's movie. Everyday Razor When you go from doing a task weekly to daily, you will achieve seven years of output in one year. If you apply a 1% compound interest each time, you will achieve 54 years of output in just one year. Skinner's Law If you are procrastinating, you have two ways to solve it. You can make the pain of inaction greater than the pain of action, or you can make the pleasure of action greater than the pleasure of inaction. Physics Razor When it doesn't deny the laws of physics, then you can assume it's possible. Don't confuse society's current lack of knowledge with this knowledge being impossible to attain. Example. A smartphone seems impossible to someone from the 1800s, and yet it was possible, they just had a lack of knowledge. We now have a better understanding of philosophical razors, some common examples of razors, an understanding on how to create our own philosophical razors based on our principles or accumulated wisdom, and we even covered some excellent cutting-edge examples of new razors. Hopefully you can use this knowledge to produce compounding benefits in your life. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. If you like this video, don't forget to share it with someone who may benefit. Thanks for watching.